Hello everybody and welcome to the latter half of the Limbus Company Center IDs, uh, ID tier list. And now we will be starting it off with the 7th Center Heathcliff. So, Heath, base Heathcliff is a pretty good unit, actually, because of his... Uh, like he doesn't have that much coins at all. I think it's like one, one to two, right? But he has a free tremor burst, and he clashes pretty well. As so that is indeed something. So I will put him right below Don. Now we have she Heathcliff. Um. What was it? Flashing strike? Flashing strike's really funny. Uh, if you get enough poise generation, if and if you're below 50% HP, you can do the funny crit on two enemies. So that is really funny. <laughs> That's good. Uh, but other than that, uh, his skill 2 takes away his HP, so he can get to 50% uh, pretty consistently. Um, yeah, so he's a pretty good she ID. I'd say he'd go um, below, uh, be above, above Endon, actually. Yeah, above, above Endon, because he can do some cool stuff with his, like, uh, poise generation and his, uh, identity as a she id so yeah now we have middle hammer heathcliff which i'd say the lowest of a's maybe the highest of b's even but i i feel like he deserves to be the lowest of a's because he is able to inflict co four coin power down which Let's say you're clashing against a moth. Moth has a coin power of, let's say, 6, right? And a base of, I believe, 20. That does not sound right, but le let's imagine, right? Well, uh, with Heathcliff's 4 coin power down that you inflict uh, on that turn, or on the turn before, and then it inflicts that turn, uh, Moth will now be rolling, I believe the stupid move has 5 coins, so it will be rolling a 30 instead of a uh, 40. So that's basically a 10 power down on Moth. But obviously not all the enemies are going to have uh, 5 coins or more. It definitely gets better the more more coins the enemy has but if the enemy only has one coin it's still pretty valuable because usually that uh skill isn't going to roll that high unless i am missing a skill that rolls has a floor of five and a ceiling of like i don't know 26 or something but yeah, he's pretty good. That's his only niche. Uh, actually, no, his skill 3 also does a decent amount of damage if the enemy has snails. So there's also that. But anyways, moving on to 7 Heathcliff. Uh, he's a rupture neutral uh, identity. So that accounts for something. He also has that unique debuff to the uh, 7 association where the resistant type of the uh, it basically does more damage to uh, already f uh, fatal or uh, weak enemies to the to the damage type so he's also pretty good I'd say above um above hammer Heathcliff or and Heathcliff because uh, his buffs are more universal because it 
Well, uh, actually, no. His buffs are, like, let's say you're fighting Spiral of Contempt. That guy has no weaknesses, <laughs> unless you do the checks, and then he gains, like, some weakness. But, other than that, he, if you're fighting a resistant enemy to all the types, which is honestly pretty rare, I can think of one other abnormality right now that has that, that being Clam. But if you're fighting those types of abnormalities, and that passive basically becomes useless. But it's still a good passive to have. It's a win more button, basically. And did I forget to mention his rupture count is neutral, so you can run him in a rupture team and not have to worry about any of that. Because rupture does true damage. So, so yeah, all of that rambling was for nothing. Anyways, moving on, we have Rabbit Heathcliff and uh, funny Gang Chao. So, he is pretty good, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Uh, his only problem is that uh, he uses bullets for his skills. So, he's always on like some sort of timer before he runs out of bullets, and he's basically not going to inflict fragile. He's not gonna do damage at all because most of his coins use bullets, and you're you're just gonna cry <laughs> with him. So yeah, if you use a rabbit, if you can kill the enemy before he runs out of bullets, he is probably up here. But most of the time, you're not going to be able to do that, especially in like railway content. So he will probably go. Um, like, below Daichi, if I, nope, 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 if you get a quick suppression, the enemy is probably dead, so, he goes above, uh, Regret Frost. Mm -hmm. And now we have, oh, the potential man, um, he, he's pretty good in Kanto 6, uh, the new ego gifts in Mirror Dungeon are pretty good for him. The, um, uh, like, you want to get sinking on him so that you use your counter, so uh, then you use your counter so you get hit. They proc the sinking on you and you lose SP. But you're usually going to clash with him so you regain the SP. And then if you don't clash with him, he's probably somehow going to roll heads on a, like, coin, because uh, sinking is a really ineffective way, or his sinking count and potency is a really ineffective way to reduce his uh, sanity. So, <laughs> with all that, he goes... Um, he 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 truly has not reached his peak potential yet. So we will put him at um 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 um. Uh, I I'm really having I I'm having trouble placing him. Uh, he he goes he goes he he goes here. <laughs> he he goes here. Yeah. Uh, and moving on, we have Harpooner Heathcliff. Um, I know he's pretty good, but I sadly only have him at uptight 3, and by playing him, he barely crits at all. But I think that's just because of a uptight 3 problem. I'm sure at uptight 4, he's definitely better because he gets one more poise count on his skill 1, he gets one third of the poise, uh, poise as potency based on bleed on the target. And his skill 3 gains an extra coin power up if you have absolute envy. Now, I run him... Okay, now, you should run him in a envy team with uh, Middledon, Captain Neshmal, and... Who's the last... Yeah, Middle Mersault. So that you can fulfill his conditionals. But even outside of it, he's 
pretty uh, all right he's pretty he's pretty good he's below and fast and no no wait hold on no no uh he's above bl you sang in my opinion so there uh his problem the only problem is that if you run him outside of a envy team uh his skill three rolls like shit so just be prepared for that um but it still rolls pretty decently not like it doesn't roll like how it should basically because obviously you're not gonna get the envy uh envy resonance absolute resonance that you need to proc it but yeah he's a good alternative to rabbit rabbits if uh you're on a more longer fight like uh Picard trio in railway right now but yeah he's a I, he's a alternative to rabbit if you are fighting a battle of attrition basically and now we have weefy heathcliff um how do i rank him because weefy has decay decay max potential potential has a 50 percent uh damage increase to the enemy now that is pretty good uh but he got power crap by reverb an everlasting combo but you can still run him because uh his uh his tremor potency is pretty good it's it's a he doesn't burst tremor at all, which might which is a problem. But uh Daichi but not Daichi, but you're to be uh what what you can do with uh Weefy Heathcliff is that after these two do uh their everlasting and reverb combo, you can just inflict the enemy with decay if you want. And um you can then just have them just passively take more damage from your uh, attack skills instead of uh, always having to rely on reverb and uh, re uh, reverb and everlasting but then again you can also just use uh, wailing right but if you don't have enough resources to use uh, wailing to get reverb back then decay is a fine option so he i think over here is a over, over here is a good good place to put him and oh that's it for heathcliff yeah well that was i think i rambled on for a bit longer than i would like but yeah that are the heathcliff ids his ids are actually pretty good uh his best ones being rabbit heathcliff and pecan heathcliff which are interchangeable depending on the content you're doing and how fast you clear basically but yeah that's it for heathcliff we will be moving on to ishmael and all her ids just looking at it right now are pretty good most of it uh two of them are pretty bad <laughs> but yeah that, that, that's it for now we'll be moving on to our eighth sinner ishmael next time bye <laughs>